Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we are doing minimal cues, a little on the coffee cup side, interval yoga, followed by manifestation meditation. We're gonna use Sri Yantra, um, the Bindu point, we're gonna use um, the pineal gland, third eye, so it's gonna be very, very balancing, inspiring, opening us up to new dimensions. So I hope you will enjoy both of them. You can do them separately or together, however you prefer. And let's flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and drop them down, open the palms of the hands forward and feel the space between the shoulder blades, feel the space between the collarbones. You can close your eyes and begin to expand that space. Feeling the ethereal space between the cosmos, between the empty space between. Pull the belly in, Mula Bandha. Everything connecting. Feel your feet and spread your toes open. Lifting the arches, drawing the sides of the belly in. Breathe. Mini stomach vacuum, so pull everything in. You can round a little here and just move it side to side. So everything is flattened and pull in and you're just moving it side to side, so ribcage moving. And now full vacuum. Two more. One more. Inhale, reaching up, arch. Exhale, diving forward. Bend the knees, take the right arm up, left and down, length. One more. Reach forward. Pushing the hip back. Change. Release. Plank. Chaturanga. Spread the fingers open. Up dog, down dog. Breathe. Inhale the right. Open the hip, well thing. Side plank. 
Nitox ten. Step it through. Twist right arm up. Step at the front on the right leg, straight back, come up to standing, three pose. Close the eyes for a moment. Hands on the ground, bend the knees and twist to the left, right knee in the air and we're gonna touch the shin bone down and lift it up, squeezing the obliques. Let's go. Ten. Down dog. Left leg up. Lifting. Wild thing. Side plank, ten knee tucks. Twist. Look forward. Shifting onto the left leg. Straight pose. Close the eyes. Exhale, bending the right knee. Here we're gonna touch the shin bone and lift up. Touch, lift, squeezing. One. Down dog. Breathe. Inhale the right, warrior one. Step at the front on the right, wrap it around, cow face. Yes. 
worry, okay? Hands on the ground, then heel or butt lifts, butt kicks, leg kicks. Two, three. Left leg, warrior one. Wrap around. Spread the toes open and close the eyes. Warrior three. Inhale the right, step it through, high lunge. Stagger. And leaning forward deep down, kick back. Deep down, touch the floor, kick back. Three. Four, six more. front, grab your foot, right hand, left foot, twist, Vinyas. Left leg, lunge, stagger, 10 touchdowns, kicks.
lunge twist. Stepping at the front, left hand, right foot twist. Down dog. Inhale the right. Lunge. Staggered cross. Touching forward, straight back. Push the hips back. Come up. Lunge, touch, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Stepping onto the right, wrap around, prayer, left elbow, left knee twist. Change sides, right elbow. Left leg, lunge, staggered cross back, touch, two, three, four, elbow, right knee, AK twist, change, Unwrap, vinyasa. Lay down onto your belly. Hands behind the head, lift legs and elbows and head. Hands underneath the shoulders. Take the left leg up, cross it. Scorpion, come up and come onto the left foot. Lunge and reverse. Opposite side. Right leg, come up.
and reverse. <laughs> Leg lifts alternating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down dog. Right leg comes up, warrior two. Half moon. Left leg, warrior two. Half moon. Come up to plie. Hands behind the head, lift the right heel. Crunch to the right. Left, crunch to the left. Continue. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Reaching out, side to side reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20. Overhead reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. Hands on the thighs, twist, change. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, straighten the legs, face the front, stagger the legs, hop, push the hips back, two, 
three. Hands on the floor. Pendulum the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right leg forward. Three hops. One, two, three. Pendulum. Left leg forward. Straight back, hips back. Step at the front. Hands over the heart, breathe. Five breaths. Take a wide step. Feet parallel, hands behind clasping, forward fold. Come up, right leg leading, warrior two. Side angle. Change. Warrior two to the left. Side angle. Step at the front, squat down, roll back, roll forward, jump, 10 of those. Yogic squat. Sit down. Double pigeon. Comfortable seated, 
position round and arch and round and arch round Left hand, right knee. Change. Inhale and look up either with the eyes closed or slightly open or unfocused, looking through the dimensions, through the layers of reality. So I'm focusing the eyes, softening, as if you're looking past the 3D reality or past the density that we're mostly in, physically in. Otherwise, you can close the eyes and we're gonna look up at the third eye, inhale, and exhale, down. Up. Third eye, so cross side slightly and up. Exhale down, look up. Down. Look up. Down. Look up. Down. Look up. Down. and you can sit here for a moment we'll continue with the meditation so if you wish to do the meditation right after the class which is usually ideal the body is aligned ready to do meditation <coughs> please join me for the meditation Otherwise, you can do the meditation at any other time and you can just finish with a quick relaxation now. And I'll see you with the meditation. Namaste. Welcome to the manifestation meditation. Today, we'll focus on visualizing Contemplating, gazing, Sri Yantra, the Bindu point, the third eye, and we'll create a beautiful new reality. So let's sit comfortably. You can have your eyes closed or slightly open. You can even do this meditation walking in a safe park or area where you can be relaxed in your garden. Meaning your eyes can be open as long as you're gazing through the layers. So all of your different realities are lining up if you close your eyes of course this is also uh, beautiful because we can get the brain into the alpha state brainwave so either way do it however you can do it just not while operating a vehicle sit comfortably or be in a comfortable situation safe situation have your eyes open or closed and we will begin. We'll continue. This uh, meditation follows uh, an interval yoga class, which we finished off with eye breath, eye coordinated movements with breath. So we'll continue with the same breath, looking up, either with the eyes closed or open at the third eye, slightly cross-eyed and up. And that's inhalation up, exhalation down, eyes look down, inhalation up, 
down. Up. Down. And continue. up to the left, down to the left, down to the right, up to the right, center down, center up, diagonal left, right, up to the left, down to the left, down to the right, use the full range of motion of the eyes, up to the right, center down, up, center left, center right, down, up to the left, down to the left, down to the right, up to the right, center left, center down, center up, center left, center right, Beginning to inhale into the root and as you inhale into the root chakra, the perineum, exhale into the earth, all worries. All old habits that do not serve as patterns, release them. Everything starts in the mind with intention. So even if this seems to you slightly fruity, the mind is the creator. We have to begin with having a mind that is peaceful quiet and the consciousness is accessible, the heart consciousness is accessible to us at all times or whenever we wish to access it. So we, over time, through consciousness practice and meditation and yoga and all of the mindfulness practices we engage in, it becomes a state of being. We are continuously connected to that peacefulness within, source within, higher guidance. Over time we shed the patterns, the habitual unhealthy patterns, mind patterns often, usually, that continuously create our reality. And sure, we get into a state of positivity, optimism and connectivity during meditation, but then over time we again go back to the patterned thinking. So with continuous 
turning back to the state of peacefulness that meditation and yoga induce, it becomes more and more part of our new programming, new patterns, new reality, new way of operation, which is a way in which we are connected to the higher self. So with that intention, just exhale the old, old patterns, addictions, uh, addictive behaviors, guilt, fear, upset, grudges, anger, you name it. You know what you don't want to carry and drag around as old luggage. Exhale it into the earth and feel it and see it transformed by the earth. Absorbed and transformed. Energy doesn't dissipate, it just transforms. And again, exhale the old. Again, exhaling the old. And feel a nice warm tingling sensation in the bottom of your feet. And feel as if nerves are extending like tree roots into the earth. from the feet, from the root chakra into the earth, connecting you to continuous nourishment, protection, safety, stability. In this environment you can establish trust, faith, and you can source from abundance, from the abundant universal energy. Energy is abundant, it is everywhere and the material reality is the illusory density of that energy. So if we understand and if we understand that energy is abundant, then everything in our reality, current reality, is abundant. And feel a sense of nourishment and protection, a warm feeling, warm, warm feeling, take over you as if it's enveloping you in its warmth. beautiful in energy wrapping around you as a protection layer nourishment it's etheric you cannot see it but you can feel it you can see it with the third eye with our future senses so feel it, feel that energy wrapping around you, healing the parts of you that are broken or you perceive as broken, as hurt, disrupted. That energy is healing. It feels like warm safety. You're always protected. always safe, you trust the unfolding of your life, you trust your divine guidance, and you move from the heart forward into creating your life.
let's see, inhale into the second chakra, orange. Orange light. The center where we experience pleasure and abundance. Creativity, connection. Layers of soulmate ship. May I even say layers of oneness. And heal with the orange light, anything that feels a little murky there. Repair it with beautiful light shining onto the grayish or different frequency areas. This is where we experience abundance. And often in the West, that area is very damaged with all the shame that comes about sexuality, abundance, femininity, masculinity. So repairing the sacred feminine, the sacred masculine, embracing the sacred feminine, the sacred masculine, freely expressing the sacred feminine, the sacred masculine, feeling the abundance, of nature. The abundance. Limitless nature of love. sustained on earth. And moving into the solar plexus, self-expression, inner power, strength, willpower, that comes from a wise connection to the ego. So we are able to continuously express on our path, express ourselves, our mission. We're working for the highest good of all. always working through the external observer, always having that observer mind. So while the ego can be strong in order for us to fulfill our mission at the same time, the external, the outer observer is the one defining the mission, defining the actions. They were just a part of our personality, of our self-expression. We need it. As a way of serving humanity. When we're in balance, we serve.
begin to observe everything from an outer perspective, higher, outer, other layer perspective, higher density perspective. You see yourself sitting wherever you are seated and you have that observer that is connected to the higher realms. higher consciousness and that observer is simultaneously you moving into the heart in and out of the heart. The heart is like a tunnel, like a 5, 6 D sphere that absorbs from each side like a black hole absorbs and also exudes gives off energy from each and every side And just feel the green pouring, the green light pouring in and out of the heart. And as you turn into the heart and all the other chakras, feel everything that you carry with you just drop off of you. You're here now, light. Surrendering to the beauty of existence. Being the fabric of existence, of life, which is love. You are love. Feel everything traveling far away from you, the things you've been carrying around that you don't need. That can be anything from addictions, addictive thoughts, thoughts that lower your frequency, emotions that are difficult to sustain, memories that you don't need. See them traveling away from you, transforming as they travel further away. Being absorbed into the abyss and transformed into love. And you are sitting here light. In the lightness of your existence. luminescent, beautiful, and shifting into the throat, turquoise, sky blue color, Breathing in the beautiful air, the blueness in nature, turning into the nature, the 
the sky, the ocean, the turquoise. Feeling the areas of, of your life where you serve through self-expression, communication, service through art. Feeling them free in those areas, so you're free to serve, to give. With the intention to always serve in the name of the highest good for all. And as we move up the chakras, feel your energy field just clearing furthermore, becoming more crystalline. Like a pure diamond. Your energy is beautiful, sacred geometry through it. Clearing up on cellular level, DNA level. into the third eye, the night, the night ocean, the night sky, the cosmos, the blue with the constellations, the dark blue. And all of a sudden, from your outer observer, the outer observer that is sitting in a higher density within and outside of you, outside of the physical, within the third eye. See yourself as you see it, everything around you all of a sudden transforms and shifts into a future moment, something you wish to create in the future and you're in the middle of that situation. A future house or residence of yours, company, something that you wish to create. And feel everything around, everything about this situation if you're free of habits, Free of certain emotions, addictions, feel it, feel how it feels to be in that moment. It is a snapshot of a future moment, a movie of a future moment. Of a future situation. And see the details, experience the details, how they feel. Continue seeing it in your third eye, continue activating the third eye as you create that vision with as much clarity as you can, as much detail as you can bring to it. And now take a little jump out into the future, further future, furthermore and see a different situation, a new, evolved situation, even more beautiful, more aligned, with more detail. Maybe you're sitting in your future garden, future venture, future business, future family, 
see the details, experience the details. Feel everything in this situation. Feel what it is to be in that particular moment. As we know, time is just a construct of the 3D mind. And everything exists at the same time. There is no separation. So when we look at the future, we have to feel it now. And furthermore, when we wake up into the now, we feel the same feelings even before the situation aligns, arises for us. We don't know, we do not wait for the perfect situation to feel those high highs, the highest emotions of of that future vision. So it's twofold here. We feel it, we see it in the future, we feel how it feels and then we carry that feeling with us. We do not wait for things to align, for us to feel them and to feel the joy of them. We feel it now in order to create through alignment, through coherency, through resonance. You can envision the new earth that we are consciously creating as beings. We are the creators of reality, collectively and individually. Our intentions, thoughts, frequency matter. Always return throughout your day to a place where you're holding a beautiful vision for your personal life and the life on earth. So let's jump into a further out in the future situation with more detail and be wild about your dreaming. dreaming. Choose whatever you wish to choose. Reality is an unlimited. Tap into that nature of reality. See anything you wish to create. Anything that your soul is here to create. And intend to create only for the highest good of all. Everything you create should raise the frequency of humanity. Everything you create should be a source of healing and joy for yourself and everyone around you. Abundance. and harmony. So now wrap that future moment into a ball, into a crystal diamond ball, maybe into a sun, a sun is like a portal, black hole where things can jump through it into a new dimension, reality. So maybe we envision it and the outside of the sun is the part that we see. That's the toroid field that's emanating luminescence. And the inside is the ethereal body the actual substance and inside that mini sun of yours mini or grand it doesn't matter we are not we won't be able to measure a sun so within that sun of yours within your third eye see your future situation
you can focus on one detail that you wish to heal, maybe you are healthy, maybe something has healed within your body, there you are completely aligned, maybe new love, maybe soulmate shape, business, residence, anything you wish to envision, use your capacity to envision, it can be one particular thing, shedding addiction, or it can be a whole life situation, each and every detail of it, so use your mind's eye, and I'll give you a moment here to just envision it fully within that sun. Feel it in your heart and in your cells. Feel, experience. Everything in detail. Feel it. You are in there. Another you is there right now. Tap into it. Feel it. Experience it. And furthermore, as you're sitting in there, in that situation, remember about yourself in the past. Sit it, meditating, seeing yourself as a memory, as a past version of yourself. And jump back into the sun into that future present you and hold that vision the beauty, the detail of it hold it in that sun in your third eye and from here we're gonna move that sun into the Bindu point Bindu chakra in the back of the head where you would tie a ponytail where you would have a plait. It is also called a plait. Egyptian meditation for manifestation. It is also the Bindu point that can heal your body from anything negative. It activates, the Bindu point activates the pineal gland. The pineal gland can produce the empty and can help us access other realms, different dimensions, densities, realities. It is a gateway. We're continuously jumping between somewhat similar realities and here is our opportunity to jump into different realities a few small jumps or one quantum jump so now you can even bring your hands back on the head the back of the head somewhere midway massage around there in circular motion very gently Kind of feeling a cluster of energy, wherever you feel a cluster of energy in the back of the head where the Bindu Chakra is. Visualizing Sri Yantra or the Flower of Life, Sacred Geometry. 
as if it's pulsating there. Great, and you can bring your awareness as you release your hands down to the back of the head area. Seeing a blossoming, flowering lotus with 23 petals. Inhale into the lotus in the back of your head and feel you over time or now, immediately you should be able to feel where the chakra is. The way we feel the third eye, which is one of the chakras that the glands in the body that receives the most amount of um, circulation. The back of the head is very active as well. That's another manifestation center. So feel it, feel the lotus. And take that sun with that future vision of yourself with all the feelings and details and place that sun at that bindu point at the back of your head and see that bindu point as a plait, as a ponytail laying down or extending down towards the back and the shoulders and allow the sun, the ball of sun energy to drop down on the plait at the end of the plait which ends at the level of your heart and the back of your body and inhale and feel your plait raising away from your body somewhat more parallel to the floor and again with each inhalation feel it lifting and raising and that is activating the plat, the manifestation center and again lift it as you inhale feel it raising it's a energy circuit there that is very available it is something we can absolutely sense sometimes quickly sometimes a little practice but you can feel the cluster of energy there you can feel the blood and no you're not just imagining there is so much more beyond the physical you are feeling things you're tapping into things so feel, see your sun there at the end of your, of your plat, activating the plat through the breath, feel it raising, feel the heart really activating. So this center is connecting the heart to the third eye. Absolute healing can happen here. Shift. A shift in reality, a jump into a new timeline, a new consciousness, a new aura, a new awareness. A new healthier body, healthier mind, healthy emotions. And now raise up to the crown of the head and feel a funnel of beautiful lavender light pouring in and out of the crown into the Omniverse, breathe in and out, feel 
feeling the heart, the third eye, the crown, the window chakra, the blood connecting the heart with the higher chakras, everything luminescent, see yourself luminescent. One big breath, come back into the body, smiling, experience your surroundings, feel your skin, feel your legs, your stomach, your chest, your ears, hear the details around you in your room, on your street, any detailed sound, and let's bring the hands over the third eye, inhale through the third eye, Creating an intention to continuously be connected to that peaceful place within where all the petty small stuff doesn't exist, where we connect to the higher self. And to be able to always connect to that place within while there is a storm outside to always have that peace within that vision of what we are creating for the future for ourselves and for others because indeed everything is mine everything starts in the mind, as an idea. And let's blink the eyes open, smile, namaste. Remember to flow with strength and ease.